Hello and welcome back to Coding with T. Today we are going to start the section 5 of our e-commerce admin panel. In this section we are typically going to look on or work on the tables or the data tables. This section is very important because it might not be a big section but a very important section because we have to learn a feature that is mostly used in developing admin panels. Almost every screen contains a table so if you're coming from the flutter app development side or if you have never used tables or data tables before then you might be thinking that you can use the simple table widget and create your tables but that's not the case Okay, so we are creating Flutter e-commerce admin panel and we are inside section 5 in which we are going to see all these videos one by one and definitely at the end we will able to master or create a separate reusable widget of our table so that we can use it without any hassle. So today's video is about what is the difference between table and data table and why even there are two things. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all we have a table widget so before going to create an example or before going to code first talk about the example and differences so what is table widget table widget in flutter is a layout widget that definitely works like a row and column and arranges its child into two dimensional grid rows again and again in rows and columns it allows developers to create structured layout similar to some html table while on the other hand, uh, Flutter data table is also a widget that we can use it as anywhere inside our screen where we can use a widget. So data table widget in Flutter is a powerful tool for developing tabular data with the different type of support like we can do the sorting, pagination, row selection and bunch of other features that we are going to talk about in upcoming videos. So before going to go for the demonstration, so this is the comparison between these two things. This is a generic comparison. There are a lot of other things that we can deep down go and see the differences. But if we talk about the flexibility, we have limited flexibility if we talk about the table widget. But on the data table widget, we have higher flexibility. So in simple ways, we can use the table widget for static data, not for the dynamic data. And for the dynamic data, we can use data tables. So for the customizations, we have limited options in the table widget. And definitely we have a lot of options in data table. Data presentation is a static as I said earlier. And in the data table, we have a dynamic data table presentation. We can do the sorting. We can change rows at the runtime. We are doing uh, redesigning or calling set state to change the shape of the data table without refreshing the screen. So definitely data is also being changed in that complex data handling as a data table widget has a limited support. Okay, the next point is complex data handling. If we talk about the table widget, it has definitely a limited support because it is not working on the dynamic data. So it cannot handle the complex data as well while data table is definitely handling the dynamic data so we can easily handle the complex data in that and use cases again simple layout static data presentation on the other hand we have a complex layouts that was a bit of theory so now let's see the examples we are inside our dashboard screen and if we go to the dashboard desktop screen and in here previously we had a scaffold center and text i missed a scaffold so scaffold is added but there is one problem if you watch the previous videos of the site layout in that we created a desktop layout so if we go to the desktop layout we use the desktop layout of tablet and mobile because in that we are simply using the body inside a column so first is header and then we have a body but while working on the desktop we have two expanded over here and also if you are facing an issue let me run it okay our application is running and you can see down below we have bottom overflowed by infinite pixels and the reason is if you see it's infinite so the reason or thing that we forgot by creating our desktop layout was we did not wrap this body into an expanded widget so wrap this widget into expanded now our code should work now save this and you can see we have dashboard written right in the center of the screen what was happened here we have expanded of the left side which is the sidebar and then we have expanded of flex 5 means five times more space than this one so this was taking the space of this right side including the header and this body but header was working fine because it has a specific width and height and on the other hand if we talk about the body 
we do not have any specific height because column was taking all the available space and there was no limit so that's why we have to add the expanded now inside the body which is currently the dashboard and if we go to the desktop you can see we can use the scaffold center text now we can use anything to create our design so in here instead of this text widget i have created a table widget so we have to remove the constant create a table widget now inside this table widget you can see we can only create a list of children so in that list we can use the table row and in each table row we can add as many cells as we want so we have two cells definitely should be same in all the rows so we have a table row over here and then again we have a table row over here and if we need other rows we can go for other rows as well but we do not have any header if we talk about the table so we have to create a specific default changes into the first row and later on we have to pass or create other static rows so let's save it okay in here you can see we have a cell one over here because it is in the center so we have cell one over here then we have a cell two cell three and cell four so we do not have any border or anything so that's why you cannot see we now added a decoration if you see the table row and click on this control space to see more features on the more properties of table row you cannot see any of other things because we only have a decoration and the children that we can that we can add into the row and with that you can see we have a first row with a green border and then second row with a green border and if you click on the table properties press control space and we have border we can create a border of the complete table we have column widths we can create a specific column width and we have default column width and default vertical alignment text based line and text direction but in here you cannot see some sorting options or how we are going to change the data dynamically definitely in this table we can add future builder or add some other things to load data dynamically but on the other hand you cannot see any sorting options any search option added if we are going to talk about the pagination then definitely pagination is not there in the table we cannot hover the rows so based on these current things we cannot create dynamic table with this table and if we add the padding and remove this decoration and directly add a border to this table to see what is going to be happen and now you can see we can see clearly all the cells because the border is now assigned to all the sides why i am explaining this simple table the reason is that if we are going to work on admin panels you might be later on creating different type of admin panels not exactly this one so in some scenario in some cases we do need simple tables we we'll definitely use these tables to generate reports static reports invoices and lot of other things so this is going to be very useful in lot of scenarios but as its limitations to create a proper dynamic table we can use instead of this table we can use the data table so let me replace this okay now i have created a table but in here you can see we have two different things the first one is columns means we can create a separate header and then we have a rows so all the data will go inside the rows while we can create header inside columns so we have a data column so that we can if we want to customize each box we can do that if we talk about the data column you can see we have a mouse cursor to deal with the hover property we have a numeric if this is numeric it is going to add the column to the right side we can do the on sort the call the on sort on this column and we can create a tooltip and definitely if we first talk about the data table features of the properties you can see a lot of list over here so we have a decoration we have a border checkbox horizontal margin clip behavior column spacing data row color now you can see we have specific things related to rows and columns data row height max height row min height for the dynamic achievement we can use these properties as we're going to use in the upcoming videos divider thickness heading row color heading row height horizontal margin on select all show bottom border you can also see the sort ascending or sort column index we can also create a checkbox for each row we can select all so these are the properties of data table now first we are going to see what is what it's going to look like and also for the data row you can see we have cells that we just added we can add a color to the row we can add mouse cursor on long press on selected changed and selected definitely and now you can see the data table is created but it is only taking the space available or the space required 
from this data we have a column one column two and inside we have a cell one and three cell two and four for column two this means that cell one and two is a row cell three and four is again a row okay now in order to create all the features that we are going to create in the third video of this playlist definitely we're going to create all the features to create our reusable widget so let me quickly walk you through with the downside of this data table because in the next video we're going to talk about something new okay here is the table we have in the products and currently you can see definitely we can use the data table to create all these checkboxes we can select all the rows we can unselect everything we can you can see these arrows to sort the products we can do this as well we can create a custom search because both are not going to provide the search for us but definitely we are going to add the custom search but if we are going to talk about the paging nation because in real scenarios you cannot use a simple data table to display all the data at once like you can see we have over here so in total at the bottom you can see we have 47 items but currently we're displaying from 1 to 10 also rows per page is 10 we can change it to 20 and if i'm going to scroll it a bit down you can see all the 20 products so these things are not exactly possible with the data table so let me click on next page you can see the next products so this is what we are going to talk about that how we're going to achieve this data table pagination in the next tutorial so that's it that was just an overview or to give you the basic idea the concepts of what the difference between table and data table so i hope you learned something new and you have something new to be experienced that was a short video so thank you for watching if you have any questions you can ask me down below in the comments and take care